my god, you guys. Steve can't sleep when there's enemies around in Minecraft. But he could sleep when brawling in Smash Brothers. In conclusion, Steve considers the characters in Smash Brothers his friends. Thank you. Only to be betrayed by them immediately and deliberately. Guys, stop making jokes. Comedy peaked with Phineas and Ferb. And also stop making songs. Music also peaked with Phineas and Ferb. Aren't Phineas and Ferb a little young to be the peak of both music and comedic industries? Yes, yes they are. Man and women. Men are like waffles and women are like spaghetti. Men are like waffles and women are like spaghetti. I never want context. Oh my god. They sprang this on us in our old church years ago. And my family has never let this joke die. Okay, so here's the stupid gender essentialist metaphor. Women are like spaghetti because their thoughts noodle all over the place. Men are like waffles because their thoughts are in boxes. Men aren't bad listeners, they just can't keep up with the conversation when women are noodling topics so fast and they have to keep switching boxes. Also, when a woman asks a man what he's thinking, he says nothing. Women just don't understand that some of the man's boxes literally have nothing in them. <laughs> anyway, if you think me and my brothers and my mom don't constantly give each other sad, tragic faces and said, I'm sorry, my waffle box is empty today. And noodle faster! And you're feeling it being a waffle! And I want to be clear, I'm a plate of spaghetti. Pretty much indiscriminately in all directions all the time. You'd be wrong. Occasionally, the context of a deadest post makes it even better. What the hickety heck? The head of Frutter, Heronimus Bosch, the Garden of Earthly Delights, 1515. No fucking way. 16th century Goomba. Writing prompt! In the afterlife, souls can see how many living people still know you once you existed. You have lived a fairly normal life. Finally saw the count drop to zero just 200 years after your death. 500 years later, 95% of the Earth's total population suddenly knows about you! And all they know is I sold really, really shitty copper. God, God I laughed so unreasonably hard over this. Okay, context! There was this dude named Yenasser who lived in like the 1700s BC ancient Babylon. And he was a merchant who sold copper. We know his name because there exists cuneiform clay tablets containing records of complaints about his extremely shitty stuff he sold to people. We actually have multiple complaint tablets about those shitty, shitty copper this guy sold. They were found in a room in what is believed to possibly be the ruins of his own house. Basically, this guy from ancient Babylon sold super shitty copper and then kept the complaints people wrote to him about his garbage goods and services. I mean, wouldn't you? That's fucking funny. I love capitalizing words that don't need to be capitalized at all. So that you have to read them in that important voice. Can I call you daddy? No, no, absolutely not. Get out. Silly putty implies the existence of serious putty. I believe that is called C4. On a scale of oobleck to C4, how serious is your putty? The way this entire can of Coke fits exactly in this Coke glass. Jesus Christ, it's 1 a.m. and I had a solid minute where I stared at this and thought someone had peeled the coke. What game devs think are tough choices in games? You have to kill this person or spare them. What tough choices in games actually are? You know, this armor will make you more powerful, but it's ugly. Now, fuck that! I ain't saving the world if I can't look fucking cute doing it!